Well, we finally, finally finished putting the tile in. Um, it took a lot longer than we thought. Uh, we screwed up a lot, but hopefully it looks okay. Um, there's a lot of mistakes that we can, uh, we can see because we did it. Like I said, the grout line's not lining up. Um, the mirror image above the accent tile, this one's smaller than this one. We had to cut it in half. Hopefully, no one will notice it. Um, but it looks all right when we're all done, but as we're doing it, we we learned a lot for the other shower we're gonna do is what we're saying. So all we have left is to wait three days and then we'll do uh, the grout. Um, we'll also do the colored grout caulk in the corners. And when that dries, we'll put in the shelves and then we'll cart along that. Um, and then we're gonna use white silicone caulk along the outer edge and where it comes in contact with the tub and we have that colored uh, caulk grout for everything else in the corner so we have to wait three days we'll do the grout then we'll seal it put the shelves in and hopefully it will be done and we get to do it all over again for our other shower that's another part so it's been two days since we finished putting the tile up and I'm still gonna wait another day because there's some areas like right on here where we put it on pretty thick, a lot thicker than a quarter inch. Um, and I noticed some of them are still a little, you can move them, wiggle them around. So I'm just taking a wet cloth, going around wiping up all the uh, uh, tile adhesive that got on the tiles, especially on these glass tiles. Uh, anything that can show up before we grout, we'll probably do it the next free day, either tomorrow or the next day. Um, try to grout and fill in and try to cover up any mistakes if possible. Um, so that's it, so just a wet rag and maybe a plastic trowel and clean it all off. In the tub I have the rubber float and like I said I'm gonna work uh, from the bottom up to try to minimize stuff falling down and I'll just do this wall try to get as much as I can and work my way around and I mixed it a little uh, thicker than I did on the floors the floors it could be runnier this time I mixed it a little bit thicker and I'm just gonna work it up the wall try to get it in all those grooves from every different angle And the key here is to really use the end of the float to work it in. And you want to see the, the grout uh, bulge out of these cracks here. So you move it to the end. You should see the grout squeezing out of there the more you work it in. And that's how you know you got it all the way in there. Okay, so we have all the grout on this wall and it's probably not ready to be wiped off yet, but I'm <clears throat> just testing to get a look and see if uh, how dry it is, how dry it is in the corners and I can still see it's a little wet, so I'm just very lightly trying to get all these high spots off. And I have three of these sponges in a bowl of water, and you gotta switch frequently, as you can see. So I'm gonna wait uh, probably another five, 10 minutes and let it dry a little more in these grout joints. 
because it's dry here on the surface where it's real thin, but the joints themselves are still a little damp. Well, it's been about uh, almost an hour on this wall and we're starting to peel up some of the masking tape. We probably should have done it a little sooner because the grout is starting to dry. And if you can see, there's a small uh, line where the masking tape and the grout was. Hopefully it's not too hardened and we can uh, get the sponge out <clears throat> and get that line off. It's coming off so far. If we waited another half hour or so, we might have had to use a plastic putty knife, but so far it's coming up and we're glad we taped it off because otherwise this grout would have gotten in all these little pores and everything. So just got to wet it. Hopefully get rid of that line and we'll be good. It was a long day, but we finally have all the grout done. Um, and with the masking tape, we had to peel each one of those pieces off. And then we used the, uh, a plastic trowel and a metal trowel to kind of smooth out the uh, seams that were made from the, uh, the tape. And I've just been wiping it down continuously, trying to get any little bit that's sticking up uh, proud above the tile. Um, I probably should have mixed it a little runnier than I did. I, I mixed it a little dry and it set up too quick and that made for a lot more scraping. Um, we should have, when I did the tile on the floor, I was able to wipe it up as I was going, but with the masking tape, you couldn't really tell and it kind of set up a little too quick. So that made for a lot more uh, wiping with the plastic trowel, but um, we're pretty much done. There's one or two spots we have to go back. Um, we're gonna hang these shelves with the tile adhesive and then we're going to take the, uh, the caulk that's colored to match this grout and we're going to do these inside corners and then we'll take white silicone caulk and go around the tub. Um, after that we're going to wait a couple days and then we're going to seal it uh, with the sealer we have so that it's waterproof and that should be it. Well we're ready to uh, install the shelf we have two shelves in both corners of the shower and here's the shelf we have. It's uh, one from Home Depot. It looks like this in the box. Um, it matches our tile really well and we already have left the cutouts for where we're going to attach it. It's got this little flange on either side. We're going to put uh, the tile adhesive, the same tile adhesive we used to put the tiles on the wall, put it on all the edges, uh, set it in place. And then we're going to hold it with, I'm not sure if we're going to use masking tape or this duct tape, and we're going to attach it to the wall. It should stay pretty well, you can see, um, but the tape is just to hold it in place for a day or so. Uh, I think a tiny, tiny little pitch downward uh, so the water drains out. It's already kind of built in, but um, it doesn't sit really well, uh, but we're going to fill the cracks with uh, grout uh, after the tile adhesive dries. Okay, here's the uh, tile adhesive on the shelf. I'm not sure if I put too much or not enough, if I should put it on the side, but I put a lot on there. And I better get the tape ready. And I'm squeezing it in there. I don't, 
I don't know if I like that. Huh? Uh, that was probably good. And I think it's at too much of an angle, so I'm gonna lift it up and have it stay right there if I can with the tape. I'm just kind of eyeballing the level there. And now I have to wipe off that uh, excess tile adhesive. The video you just watched was just one part from a series of bathroom remodel videos we did. Click next to see the next video in the series, or you could check out my bathroom remodel playlist to see all the videos we did while remodeling the three bathrooms in our house. And if you found this video helpful, Feel free to like the video and subscribe. Thanks.